So in this video, I'm going to be performing a surgical scrubbing of my hands prior to surgery. So first thing I want to do is just check to make sure that I'm not wearing any jewelry, any watches or bracelets or rings that I may have on. I'm going to go ahead and take off. Now I'm wearing a ring, so I'm just going to take my ring off and just set it aside there. So now I'm just going to take a look at my hands and my fingernails and just make sure my fingernails do not extend past the tips of my fingers and they don't and that I'm not wearing any nail polish, so I'm all good there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and identify the scrub and, and the scrub brushes that I'm going to be using. So I have these individual disposable scrub brushes with 3% chlorhexanol solution on them. And then prior to scrubbing with the scrub brushes, I'm going to be applying a 2% chlorhexanol surgical scrub and hand wash to my hands. But first I'm going to just wash my hands with normal soap and water just to get any dirt or debris that I may have on my hands off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my water on, and then after this point, I'm not going to be touching the faucet to turn the water off. I just want to make sure that I get a nice temperature, warm, not too hot, not too cold, and that I'm comfortable with that temperature. So we are good. So I'm just going to get my normal hand wash here. Start with my hands, go down to my elbows. So now I'm going to go ahead and open two of my brushes. I have six brushes laying out because I'm going to be performing one scrub three times on each arm. And but right now I'm just going to open two of my brushes. What I'm going to do now is just go ahead and apply my surgical scrub and hand wash with 2% chlorhexanol. My hands can go all the way down to my elbows. So at this point, I do not want to let my hands drop below elbow level and keep my hands above my elbows at all times. I don't want any contaminants from my elbows running down to my hands. So carefully without touching any of my surrounding surfaces and keeping my hands above my elbows, I'm just going to carefully grab my first scrub brush and then also just get it a little wet just to get nice suds going on. And now I'm ready to perform my scrubbing on my hand. So I'm going to start with my left hand and with my fingertips, I'm going to scrub the tips at least 10 times. So now that my fingertips have been scrubbed, I'm going to go ahead and do each four side of each individual finger on my hand, starting with my thumb. We're going to do this at least 10 times on this first side here. Now we're going to move on to the top side of my thumb. And do the other side of my thumb. and then the bottom side of my thumb. Now I'm going to move on to my index finger. I'm going to do this side of my index finger at least 10 times. Top side of my index finger. Other side of my index finger. And the bottom side. Now 
Put it onto my middle finger and do this side 10 times. Top side. Do the other side. And the bottom side. Moving on to my ring finger, go ahead and do this side 10 times. Top side. Do the other side. And the bottom side. Moving on to the little finger here, this side, at least 10 times, top side, other side, and the inside. So now that I've done each side of all four or all five fingers on all four sides. I'm going to go ahead and move on to doing all four planes of my hand. So each four side of my hand. So I'm going to start by my thumb and do this at least 10 times. And do the top part of my hand, making sure I cover the entire surface of my hand at least 10 times. Do the other side of my hand at least 10 times. And now the palm at least 10 times. So now that's done, I'm just going to carefully just get my brush a little more sudsy here. And I'm going to do all four sides of my arm from my wrist down to my elbow, starting with my inside part here at least 10 times. Do the top side of my arm. Do the other side of my arm here. And then the bottom part of my arm. Now that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and drop my scrub brush. And again, very carefully making sure my hands are staying above my elbows. Just going to reach and grab my other scrub brush here. And just carefully suds that up, making sure not to touch the sink or the faucet. I'm going to repeat the same process on my right hand. So fingertips ten, at least 10 times. So now that's finished, I'm going to go ahead and move on to each four side of my fingers, starting with my thumb. Go so this side at least 10 times. Go to the top part of my thumb at least 10 times. Go to the inside. the end, bottom side of my thumb at least 10 times. Now I'm moving on to my index finger. I'm do this side at least 10 times. Go ahead and do the uh, top side 10 times. Do the other side 10 times. And then the bottom side. Moving on to my middle finger. You go to this side at least 10 times. Go to the top side 
least 10 times. Then the other side. And the inside bottom part. At least 10 times. Putting on my ring finger, do this side 10 times. Top side, at least 10 times. Other side. And the bottom side here. So on my last finger, my pinky finger, I'm going to do this side 10 times. Top side. Go ahead and do this other side. And then the bottom side. So now that I've done all five of my fingers, each four side, I'm going to move on to doing all four planes of this hand, starting with my thumb, or on my thumb side at least ten times. Now the top part of my hand, making sure I cover the entire surface at least ten times. Then I go to the other side of my hand, make sure I get that at least ten times. Now the palm of my hand. So now that I've done that, I'm going to reach down carefully, hand above elbows, do not touch part of the sink, studs up my brush a little bit, and now I'm going to do all four sides of my arm, starting from my wrist going down to my elbow, and do the inside part here at least ten times. Go ahead and do this inside my arm at least 10 times. Then my other side of my arm. And do the top part of my arm. Now I'm done, I'm just going to drop my scrub brush. Now maintaining my hands above my elbows, I'm going to rinse my scrub off from my hands down to my elbows and making sure that none of the drippings from my elbows reach down to my hands. I'm also going to make sure I do not touch any inside compartments of the sink or the faucet itself. So just leaning down very carefully, starting with my hand, just rinsing down to my elbow. Same thing on this side, being careful not to touch any part of the sink. Going down to my elbow, repeat that again. So now that I'm done doing my first scrub on each arm and hand, I'm going to repeat that process two more times on each arm and hand for a total of three times. After I'm finished, I will be able to dry off with my sterile surgical towel with my gown, put my gown on and put my gloves on and I'm ready for surgery.